So in this problem, we want to find the future value of a $10,000 annual income stream if it is invested immediately as it re is received into an account paying 11% interest, compounded continuously for 20 years. So what's happening is every year, so it's an annual income stream. So every year, you deposit $10,000 into this account, but it's continuously earning interest on the money that's in the account at an 11% interest rate. So uh, not only are you adding money to the account over time, it's also earning interest over time. So this is an annuity. So to find the future value of an annuity at the end of N payment periods, we're going to use this integral. So to find that future value A, it's going to be the integral from 0 to N, where it says right here N is the number of payment periods. So that's the number of deposits that you make. So since uh, it looks like we're only depositing the money once per year for 20 years, we're going to take N to 20. P is the amount deposited each time, which is 10,000, times E to the RT. R is the interest rate, that's this 11% that it's earning, so 0.11 T DT. So I'm going to pull the 10,000 out front and to integrate or anti-differentiate E to the point 11 T, we multiply times 1 over the coefficient of T right here, so 1 over 0.11 times E to the 0.11 T. I'm going to take that from 0 to 20. I probably just leave it about like this and plug in 0 0.11 times 20. So we plug in the upper limit minus the lower limit. When we plug in 0 here, we're going to have e to the 0. So I'm going to pull out this 0.11. There's really no reason to keep it there. So 10. Right now, actually, I take this back. I left it off right here. Should have 1 over 0.11 right there. So yes, I will pull that out. 10,000 over the 0.11. Factor that out times e to the, now 0.11 times 20, let's just go ahead and do that computation, it's 2.2 minus, I factored out that 1 over 0.11 right there, and e to the 0 equals 1. So at this point, I would approximate that on my calculator. So we have 10... Here we go. So we have 10, let's see where I can hit the numbers, 1,000 times, uh, no, actually divided by point, oops, point one one times parentheses e, the second e there, to the 2.2. .2 parentheses, minus 1, and we get 729,546.68 cents, I would round right there.